What's up guys, welcome back to the infamous project. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon here. I'm actually working on getting the pool filled up because the temperature is gonna get hotter and there's gonna be those days where I'm gonna finish cutting the grass or working at the commercial shop with no AC and I'm just gonna to wanna to jump into that pool. But with that said, we're back here with the Shipbox Fox and I am actually overwhelmed with the amount of, it's not all positive feedback on the whole one piece Bowser style hood setup that I did here. But if I hadn't have done the hood and I only put the one piece headlights in, I feel like it would have been like 98% would just hate it. The few of you would be like, oh, okay, it's a pass because it's the Shipbox Fox. But I think the hood actually introduced something unique and something cool, which there's still one piece headlights, right? So. I have an idea and I'm getting creative today. I have two ideas that I want to do actually, and I'm going to come up with, with potentially a new headlight design. Maybe let's see. So if you see over there behind the lightning, the theft recovery Cobra Lewis's car, which is going to come and pick up that chip box of a Cobra one of these days. Um, it's got a piece of one piece headlights, got a piece. It's got a set of one piece headlights in it. Those are actually the ones that I was kicking around on the ground that came off the average Fox. So we're going to do a little bit of R and D on those. These are the ones that were actually on the Celine car. They weren't in the last video. These ones actually look a little bit better and they have these additional LEDs right here, which I actually think are kind of cool. Um, you know, we could probably put some red LED bulbs in there and add to the whole ship box theme. If these headlights end up staying in here, you can really see how shitty this, uh, how quickly I did that fiberglass work on that driver's side. This is a million times better, but we were running out of daylight there. So provided I keep the design of the hood, I need to clean that up. The other element that I want to do is actually has to do with the side mirrors and a side marker light, so to speak. So I've got an extra set of blinkers that came off of my 335 sitting right there. And I'm thinking I might be able to retrofit those and do something cool over here. So first things first, let's go over here to Lewis's Cobra. So yeah, these headlights are a little messed up. You can see all the abuse from kicking them around. That little chrome bezel reflector cup thing is uh, pretty much falling over. But here's my train of thought, guys. The problem with one piece headlights is it's wrecking. And Kazel will tell you this all day long. So let me say this with the camera on my face because I had to laugh. I was like, Gary, man, what do you think? And he sent me like this three minute long whatsapp voice note pure canadian passive aggressive like i hate it but in a nice way and i just had to laugh i'm like gary man just i get it i understand the three pieces of the factory headlights just shouldn't be messed with and we talked about that with that rendering of the like a newer fox body that was done like that time lapse a guy was messing around with it in photoshop and he got about three quarters of the way through then he started messing with the headlights and then it just kind of all went downhill from there so anyways i get what he's saying um and it sparked an idea so back to talking about the headlight so the problem with the one piece there's so many body lines that are going on with the fox body and by putting that one piece headlight in there, it just breaks up the lines. So this is what I'm thinking. See this natural body line right here? I am thinking that maybe if I can like cut this right here, the problem is it's gonna go a little bit into that bezel. Um, I don't know, maybe I can do it creatively. That's a thing, right? Like the factory light, where's a factory car? Let's go over here. These lights are actually loose over here. Um, I, I picked this car up, guys. This is, uh, I'll be doing a video on this. It arrived the other day, the price was right. And I just said, whatever, send it. 
and I need to figure out why there's some gaps here. I think the hood just ultimately needs to be fixed unless something got jacked up here. Who knows? Anyways, so the corner light you can see is actually here, so it's off from this line. Ultimately, this is a real nice set of headlights right here on this car, so I could always peel those off, stick them on the ship box. Maybe we'll do that too. We'll do a little comparison. We'll say one piece headlight versus factory, three piece versus what we're about to do here, which is gonna be, we'll call it the custom infamous two piece headlight assembly. Okay, so there we go. We have our new corner light here. So the thing is, we're actually gonna have to take a little bit of material off both of these guys so that we can um, make up, like make a natural line, All right? So let's see here. In this case, I think I wanna try and take it off the headlight side. So this corner light might actually be a little bit wider than an original. I've got the room here on the bezel. I guess I have to do some work, but I think I think I can do it. Now, is it just me, or does that actually look better? I actually think that looks better. Put things in the perspective with the hood that's been modified the way it is. There's a headlight cover on there, because some guys said, oh, just put the headlight covers back on. The headlight covers actually looked better when the lenses weren't on there, because it actually recessed itself back in a little bit further. Now it's kind of like a little bit bubbly and bulky. So there's the headlight cover. Ooh, surprise, surprise. I pulled off the headlights from the yellow car real quick to find out there's been a minor little fender bender up in that corner. So that's probably the reason for the reason why the alignment was off new headlights and probably some weird paint work in the front there. But anyways, that's a video for another day. So factory lights, a lot of guys said, oh, we want factory lights. Just put those back in there. You know what? I'm not feeling it. The lights are actually like too nice. Maybe if they were smoked, they would look okay. Or maybe a set of smoked diamond clears. Um, like I have to say, I think so far with this hood, it looks best with the one piece. So let me go ahead now and put in my two piece light and see what things look like. I don't know. Like, I like the fact that it's sort of carrying this line. I didn't get it straight. That's the problem. It's kind of needs to be more like that. I'm wondering if you could just envision it. You know, we'd have these LEDs here. It'd make this corner light look really big compared to factory. So it'd be a different look for sure. But I don't know, guys. What do you think? Another day, another late afternoon, another opportunity to mess with the shitbox Fox. So where we left off was the attempted two-piece headlight look, which I think is a fail. We put in a factory style headlight in there. I think that that's a fail. There's another version of a three-piece lamp with a black housing that I think would look okay. However, a gentleman online brought up a good point, and I tend to agree. I think it's really important that the hood is cutting off this lens. And the reason why that's important is because it looks like it's cutting off an eye. So I don't know, I might order the other set of lights and try them out just for the sake of doing so. I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see what those lights look like. And if you think it's worth me trying those, then I'll order them up, I'll put them in there, and if maybe they don't work on this car, then maybe they'll work on something else. 
So now I want to move on to the next task. You can see there's more parts, you know, starting to get stockpiled in the old shit box here. And you know what? I'm just going to do a quick little spoiler alert just to see who pays attention halfway through these videos and not just skipping over everything. Here's a little teaser of something epic that came in the other day. I was like a kid on Christmas morning when I saw this stuff sitting out at the front of the gate, but here it is. I'm not opening it. I'm not going through it because it's gonna get its whole own episode. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Something else that came in the mail is, uh, again, maybe a little teaser here. I'm gonna save these for, for later. Uh, GTS taillight covers, but these are the trailblazers. So they're actually slotted. So maybe we can bring back a little bit of the cheese grater look and feel to the car. But again, we'll leave those there. Somebody sent me some uh, Transmax fluid here for the ship box. Maybe we can get it uh, shifting gears a little bit more smoothly, but there's a couple more of the items. So anyways, let's get back to the task at hand here. And that's gonna be my next new creative idea. They're not always good ones, guys. Sometimes I fail at this stuff, but I'm hoping that this one's gonna work out. And that is with the mirror here. And I have these side marker lights that came off my 335 sitting right over there. And I'm wondering if uh, this might not be, and you know what? Based on the contour of the mirror, let's grab the other one. I don't know if they're both, oh, they are the, no, they're, they are different. Okay. I'm thinking, you know, can I get this right underneath tucked up in here? So that's going to be the task of today. You know, I genuinely feel like side markers, like as ricey as they could look, especially if I just decided to drill holes in my fenders and stick them in there. Yeah, not the best of luck. And guys, don't judge me. If you remember on you know, the big transformation video, or one of them, I took this manual mirror and um, just bolted it on because the one that was on the car was completely smashed. So it's just kind of like a placeholder and it's gonna be a great guinea pig for our project. I think I do have a set of power ones, which um, I really only need one because the car is a power mirror car. In fact, I wonder if that works. It doesn't work. Okay, so here's our mirror. It's off, and like, there's a lot of room in the housing back there. Just going to have to be conscious. See where that screw is that holds that assembly in? I think that might actually mess with... Um, mess with things a little bit here but you know what there's a screw up there holding it it'll be okay so here's my 335 that i picked up recently 4500 bucks it was absolute steel i couldn't pass it up nice little uh daily parts getter and are you kidding me aftermarket shit and i just broke it So I either need to put it here or we try our luck here. And I really want to try our luck here.
All right guys, so I've got the factory style BMW side marker in there. And you know, I'll be able to clean this look up a little bit better. And normally there's a little bit of foam on the outside here that uh, fills in this gap and also protects the paint when that's on your BMW fender, for instance. So can definitely get something on there, clean that up. There goes my safety glasses. Uh, we've actually missed all of the internal stuff. We've got room in here. It just fits. And we still have the functionality of our mirror. Now, of course, I'm just using what I have available, which are these BMW side markers. You can get so many different types of side markers off eBay, or you could actually like stick, you know, an LED strip on there if you wanted to. But this is all just about being creative with what we've got. So I'm going to try and get some wires on there and let's see if we can't get this thing to light up and then we'll see what it looks like on the door. All right, got some wiring here and snake this through here for now. Yes, it's just wrapped with electrical tape for now, guys. This is proof of concept, just to see how it works. There we go, snapped into place. Let's try it out. Got it on the flasher. What do you guys think? No, like if you were, uh, Rolling up on the car here. Now oh, you got turn signal. A little flasher there letting you know what's going on. And if that was smoked out, would you even really realize that it was ever on the mirror? So let me turn it off. All right, so here's the side profile of the car. Would you even know that there's an indicator underneath that mirror? And mind you, it's a little yellow, it's a little faded, right? So you gotta keep in mind, probably smoke it out so you don't really see it, actually. I could buy another set of smoked ones like those ones there. And um, that would probably solve the problem. Maybe I'll invest the 15 bucks now that I have the template. I know that they work. There's only one thing left to do now, and that's going to be wait until the sun goes down and turn that thing on at night. All right, guys, sun is down. Here is the result. What do you think? BMW 335, well, I should just say BMW 3 Series side marker lens retrofitted into the mirror of a Fox body Mustang. I got to say, it looks pretty cool. It's doing its job. I think the profile from the front and the side, do a little walk around here and show you guys how it looks. I think once I get a smoked lens or I smoke that one out, it is going to be just awesome. So I'm excited to hear your feedback, not only on the side marker lens on the mirror, but also on the headlight debacle, which I'm going back and forth on. So to keep the one piece or to go and maybe try out that other three piece option. And from there, we'll see what we decide and continue improving the Shipbox Fox. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode because we're going to do all the Carter custom splitters, front sides, rear, and man, it's going to make this car look absolutely deadly. I know it already. So as always, thank you again for following along. Thank you for your support and be sure to stay tuned for everything Shipbox related. Until next time, we'll see you here on the Infamous Project.